What's up team? Welcome to the video. I just filmed a, a podcast. I recorded a podcast, my first ever podcast, and I listened to it back and it was uh it was the worst piece of content I've ever I've ever even seen on the whole internet. And so I decided to scrap that and go with what I know and what I'm used to, which is a five minute one take rip it YouTube video. Just want to give a quick update of what's been going on. I haven't made any content during the entire year, really. Um Fortunately, I'm doing well. My family's well. Like, everything's good. I hope uh, many, if not all of you, have been fortunate enough to be doing all right. Um, I had a, a friend of mine sent me a screenshot of, you know when you Google a name, then you get the, the auto-populated, like, common Googles. Like, you put someone's name, and it's like, net worth, wife, uh, like, all the common things people Google. He sent me a screenshot, and it said, Mike Vacanti, and then the the top one was, what happened to Mike Vacanti? And it made me laugh and it made me feel a little bit of a sense of obligation to give an update on what's been going on. It's also Labor Day weekend. I got a little fire in the belly. I'm feeling like like the, the calm summer is uh, is coming to an end. Well, it is because that's what happens. Seasons, they change. And I'm feeling like making content. I've made many, many times I've said, I'm going to start making consistent content. And then I didn't, so... I'm not going to say that. I just felt the the desire to give an update on what I've been up to and what's been going on. I've been in Minnesota for the summer. My girlfriend and I, same with my parents. I still have my place in New York, but it was an opportunity to get out of the, the city and uh, be somewhere more in nature, more space, really good weather here in Minnesota. I've got some golf in. Um, Everything else is normal. Running my coaching business, that's good. Uh, How to Become a Personal Trainer podcast. We've been doing weekly episodes. That's been fun. And uh, everything's good on that front. I just really haven't had a desire to make content. And I've talked about that a lot over the last one to two years here. Um, you know, Content for me is, is one of three things. It's either marketing. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this stable for you. Um, it's either marketing, like content marketing, uh, two, it's art. It's a form of expression, right? Like a really well-written blog post or like even an Instagram picture can be art if it's coming from a place of inspiration and wanting to share something with the world. Um, I think that's more rare these days, but that's one of the reasons I have made content in the past. So business, art, or validation and just wanting positive feedback, like whether it's posting abs or you know, posting anything to get a positive response and then letting the machine suck you in and change your message, crafting it not so that it's true, but so you get the, the most positive response, the most likes, the most thumbs up, whatever. And people who have made stuff have probably felt that in one way or another. But I'm not interested in the internet telling me, like, you're a great person. Um, and I just haven't had any business aspirations recently like things have been running smoothly I've been fortunate in that regard I get a lot of referrals from current coaching clients and so the the third pillar of why I would be creating is art and uh, I just haven't felt inspired to pick up the camera or to smash the keys or whatever it might be um, I have been busy coaching coaching Gary every day still uh, doing the podcast running the fitness business mentorship writing the book which is probably still a year away from from a release um, with my, my good friend Jordan Syatt and I are co-authoring like a, a book book, a legitimate fitness book, you know, Harper Collins, a, a real thing. And I'm excited about that. But this year I, I probably should have said something. I probably should have been like, okay, I've been making consistent content for, well, relatively consistent content for many years. And I'm, I'm feeling like I want a break and I should have communicated that because I've got so many nice messages, nice DMs, nice emails from people saying like, are you okay? What's going on? Haven't heard anything from you. You just kind of like went dark. Um, so I probably misplayed that in hindsight, but, uh, yeah, I just, I just wanted to shoot this video and let you know I'm all good. Things are good. I do feel like making stuff and, and whether it's that it's a weird time of year, right? Because your whole life you go from well, not being in school in the summer and then school starts and it's like on again, off again switch. And then once we hit a certain age, it's like, you're just kind of expected to be on all the time, but based on the laws of nature, you can't be on all the time. Like that's why we have weekdays and weekends. That's why we have uh, training and recovery. Like there's a yin and yang to life. And 
I think the like nine months of work and then three months of relaxation, obviously if you're fortunate enough to build your own schedule to an extent, it's really intriguing to me. But I'm feeling like doing things, I'm feeling good, my fitness is good, my lifting is good, my nutrition is good, my sleep is good, my like, I'm good here. And uh, so yeah, just wanted to share this update. I, I genuinely hope you're doing really well and uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I left you in the dark a little bit and I I expect to be making more stuff. So hopefully see you here soon. Take care. Bye.